So this code is not a mystery, really, because if you understand it, uh, in what it is, in what it, it's based, the code has very simple keys there that would you have to understand the language just like when someone is learning a language it needs to know the grammatical things therefore here we learn how to count on all this and once we have the compass perfectly well then it comes next that what we can do with that how elastic can it be and how i will kind of communicate with the other players that are there we need to know how to command to command the rhythm like, suppose, if we do in seguirilla. to know how to accelerate, how to slow down. Right? Let's see more examples of this. So first the counting will be there. One, two, one, two. as it can be fit on the thing, right? But you need to know how to command with the rhythm. And then follow. Okay, let's do more examples of that. stop playing. Right? So the other players that are there, you can do this with the tapado and with the guitar. One can play the tapado and one play the guitar. Right? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, say. things. This is part of the code. We give this example in Seguirilla because it can be on any on any style. Tango, Seguirilla, on Alegrías, on anything. 